Yeah, good morning and welcome back to the lecture series on classics in total synthesis part 1. So, we have been discussing about uh, total synthesis of various alkaloids and today we will talk about one very interesting pyrolizidine alkaloid called swainsonine. Okay, so, swainsonine is uh, a very simple bicyclic compound and have 3 hydroxyl groups. You can see 1, 2, 3. So, this is a very important uh, manosidase inhibitor and also has been examined closely uh, as a potential anti cancer drug. So, this molecule uh, has at attracted attention of synthetic chemists because if you look at this molecule, uh, one can easily think of making from carbohydrates as starting material. So, several synthetic approaches were known. Uh, what we will do today, uh, we will talk about 4 uh, short total synthesis. And incidentally, three of them are coming from a carbohydrate starting material. Okay, and this, is, as I mentioned, this is a, a interesting indolecidin alkaloid. There are many uh, alkaloids belonging to this family, and some of them are shown here. Uh, this is a homoalexin, and that differs. If you look at uh, swainsonine and this one, you can see there is additional CH2OH group. And also, the chemistry of this hydroxyl group, you know, varies. And in this case, malaxine, you have a five-membered, a coupled with another five-membered. Whereas in these two cases, you have a pyrrolidine ring coupling with a six-membered ring. Okay. And this is astraline. Again, it it differs uh, only with the, you know, ring junction here. Okay. Here also, the ring junction differs. And this one, it is a 6 membered ring, uh, you can call it as hydroxymethyl swainsonine. Okay, swainsonine is uh, without this CH2OH, so it is uh, hydroxymethyl swainsonine. Okay, so there are many uh, related alkaloids and they are uh, potential ASA sugar inhibitors. Okay, so uh, many of them have been used for as uh, glycosidase inhibitors. And there are several synthetic groups who worked on uh, synthesis of such molecules. So, as I said, we will talk about three total synthesis starting from carbohydrates. And let us start with Hashimoto's uh, total synthesis of swainsonine. Uh, this was published in JOC in 1985. And here the key reaction is a one part nucleophilic opening of epoxide by an amine followed by formation of 6 member lactone. So, both are happening in one part. So, that, that is the key step. So, for the retrosynthetic analysis, so the first disconnection was you just remove uh, this bond. Before that, that can be easily made from the corresponding lactone. Okay, so, once you have lactone and simply you reduce with LAH or borane, you get the corresponding reduced one. And the second disconnection is the key disconnection, which I said already, it is a one part reaction where the amine opens the epoxide and at the same time, this also attacks the ester where the OR group comes out. So, in one part, both the rings are formed. Okay. And this can be obtained from the corresponding alpha beta unsaturated ester. And as you know, once you have alpha beta unsaturated ester, that can be obtained from the corresponding aldehyde by stabilized Bt. Okay. This aldehyde can be obtained from this diol. Okay. So, now if you look at this diol, if you treat with the base, okay, so this can attack this carbon and mesylate can go out forming the alpha epoxide. Okay. One can also see that the primary alcohol can attack, but that will lead to the formation of hormone but ring. So, it is a highly selective epoxide formation where only 3 member ring is formed. And this in principle can be obtained from this hydroxy amine compound. So, you can remove this astronite. Okay, before that 
you have to mesylate the secondary alcohol. And this in principle can be obtained from mannose diacetonide, this is called D mannose diacetonide and this can be obtained from D mannose acetonide in two steps. Of course, the starting material is D mannose which upon uh, treatment with acetone and Lewis acid you will get D mannose diacetonide. Now, let us see how Hashimoto's group successfully completed the total synthesis of swine sonine using this key reaction. So, first uh, the D mannose was uh, protected as diacetonide and this on treatment with hydroxylamine hydrochloride form the oxime and so once you form the oxime you treat with LAH as you know oximes can be completely reduced to corresponding primary amine. So, that is what happened then that NH was protected as uh, a CBZ. So, you treat with chloro benzyl oxychloride then so now OH is converted to the mesylate then selectively you can remove this acetonide in the presence of the other one ok this is a terminal acetonide. So, more exposed and that can be selectively removed by treating with para sulfonic acid and methanol to get the diol then this on treatment with amber light having OH minus type. So, that generates anion here and attacks carbon bearing mesylate in a SN2 fashion. So, you get the epoxide. So, now you have got the epoxide in place and already the nitrogen is also in place what you should do you have to homologate the primary alcohol. So, that is done by oxidation of the primary alcohol using Collins reagent to get the aldehyde then you do the stabilized beating and homologate to get the alpha beta unsaturated ester and this alpha beta unsaturated ester you treat with uh, sodium borohydride you reduce the double bond to completely saturated ester. Then the CBZ group ok that is easily removed under hydrogenolysis condition. So, benzyl group gets cleaved CO2 goes and then what you get is the NH2 but as soon as the NH2 is formed then this will open the epoxide and also the NH2 attacks the ester and in one part ok in one part you get the bicyclic come. So, this is the first step the NH2 attacking the epoxide to get the alcohol then the NH that is a pyrrolidine substituted pyrrolidine attacking the ester to form the 6 membered lactam. So, now what is left is to remove the carbonyl group of the lactam and remove the acetonide. So, with sodium borohydride ethanol you convert the lactam into corresponding amine and HCl THF. So, you remove the acetonide so you get swine sonin. So, this was reported uh, 37 years ago by Hashimoto's group and starting from D mannose and overall he took about 12 linear steps and yield was about 4 percent ok. The key step was the one part opening of the epoxide with, uh, with a primary amine followed by lactam formation. So, in one part you basically they formed two rings which are present in swine sonine. The second synthesis was reported by Pearson and Hembray and this was the reported in 1996 and his synthesis uh, started from again uh, another uh, simple carbohydrate called D erythrose and the key reaction involved was uh, Sharpless asymmetric dihydroxylation and uh, the second key reaction was uh, reduction of azide and followed by cyclization to form the pyrrolidine ring in one part. From retrosynthetic point of view uh, again the first disconnection was uh, you know introduced a carbonyl group to form the lactam because it is easy for you know reducing the lactam to corresponding amine is very easy and straightforward and this type of lactam can be easily obtained by having a pyrrolidine as well as a carboxylic acid. So, this can be obtained uh, from uh, this aside. So, this is the key reaction which I said. So, what happens if you reduce this N3 to NH2 ok this NH2 what will happen it will straight away attack as soon as it is formed 
it will attack the 5 member lactome and open this ok. So, what will happen? So, the NH2 first it will attack uh, the mesylate, so it forms the 5 member ring, then that NH attacks the lactone and open the lactone, so you get the corresponding 6 member ring. This in fact can be obtained from this gamma delta unsaturated ester, ok, alpha, beta, gamma, gamma delta unsaturated esters. If we have a gamma delta unsaturated ester and if you do a dihydroxylation, particularly if you do a sharp plus asymmetric dihydroxylation. So, what will happen? So, one of them immediately will cyclize to form a 5 member lactone and the other will be free alcohol. And this gamma delta unsaturated ester or aldehyde can be easily obtained from the corresponding allylic alcohol through glycine-reavenment. So, the precursor for this is this allylic alcohol. So, once you have this allylic alcohol, this can undergo intramolecular glycine rearrangement to give the gamma delta unsaturated ester. And this can be easily obtained from erythrose which is commercially available. Now, let us see how this molecule was synthesized by Pearson's group. So, they started with uh, D erythrose. So, you take D erythrose and then directly protect it with uh, acetone, you will get this uh, uh, astronide. Then you treat with vinyl magnesium bromide, so that will give you the corresponding diol. Okay. So, once you have this diol, then you can selectively protect the primary alcohol as TBS ether. Okay. You can take this diol and treat with TBDMS chloride and imidazole, you protect the primary alcohol as TBS ether. Now, the allylic alcohol on treatment with trimethyl ortho acetate, in the presence of catalytic amount of propionic acid undergoes a Claisen rearrangement to give the gamma delta unsaturated ester. So, this is the result of Claisen rearrangement. Okay. And that goes through this intermediate. So, once you have this gamma delta and saturated ester, then Sharpless asymmetric dihydroxylation gives a diol and one of the alcohol immediately attacks the ester and forming a 5 member lactone and the secondary alcohol which is formed can be easily mesylated. Okay. So, here as you can see uh, there are two isomers, the alpha diol was obtained in 70 percent and beta diol which was obtained in 9 percent. The alpha diol is the one which is required. So, he took the TBS ether and removed the TBS group with TBAF to get a diol and the diol upon treatment with methyl chloride, he got the dimethylate. Once you have the dimethylate, the primary alcohol can undergo a SN2 reaction with sodium azide. So, the methylate was removed and you replace it with N3. Now, the key reaction where the N3 was hydrogenated to get NH2 and that NH2 intramolecularly attacked the carbon bearing methylate to form the 5 membered pyrrolin ring followed by opening of the 5 member lactone to get the corresponding 6 membered one. So, this is the first step and followed by intramolecular attack of this NH to open this to give the 6 membered hydroxy lactone. So, now what needs to be done is you have to remove the carbonyl and also remove the astronide. So, that is straightforward. If you treat with borane dimethyl sulfide, the lactam becomes corresponding amine and then uh, treat with dilute HCl, so you get swine saline. So, overall um, this particular synthesis reported by Pearson in 1996 uh, started from uh, erythrose and involved about 12 longest linear steps. However, the yield is quite good, it 
and they could get about 20 percent overall yield. The third synthesis again as I said was started from commercially available D erythros and this was reported by J K Shah. But the key reactions are 1 3 dipolar cyclo addition between an aside and a double bond. So, this is an intramolecular 1 3 dipolar cyclo addition. Then the second key reaction was highly stereoselective reduction of imine and as soon as the imine is formed, imine is reduced it cyclizes to form the lactone. So, the retrosynthesis again starts with uh, a, the similar uh, you know formation of uh, the lactam as you know the lactam can be easily can reduced, but at the same time he also has a double bond. So, this double bond one can do a hydroboration to introduce the hydroxyl group that this particular retrosynthesis involves two key reaction one removal of the lactam to the corresponding 6 membered piperidine ring and hydroboration of the double bond to give a corresponding hydroxyl group. And this can be easily obtained from this imine just you know you just uh, it forms enamine and then cyclases and that can be obtained from the corresponding azidoalkene. Okay, this azidoalkene undergoes an intramolecular 1 3 dipolar cyclo addition followed by extrusion of nitrogen will give this uh, immuno compound and this can be obtained from the corresponding lactam. So, the synthesis reported by Cha started with uh, D erythros and this one can write like this and if you do a Wittig reaction and you get this uh, cis double bond and convert the primary alcohol into tosylate or mesylate because you have to convert that into a good leaving group. Then treat with sodium azide you get the corresponding acid. So, when you do this SN2 reaction, so normally you have to heat it around 70 to 100 degrees. So, that time not only SN2 displacement took place, but also it underwent an intramolecular 1 3 dipolar cycloaddition. And it did not stop there, once the intramolecular dipolar cycloaddition went, it underwent extrusion of nitrogen to form this imine. Okay. So, once you have this imine, if you treat with potassium carbonate methanol, you hydrolyze the ester to corresponding carboxylic acid. This carboxylic acid when you reflex, what happened? The carboxylic acid adds to this imine to form a spirolactone. Okay. This spirolactone upon further heating it undergoes a rearrangement to give this imine. Okay, so, it is very easy, it undergoes cleavage and followed by elimination and then cyclization. Okay. Three steps involved in this particular reaction uh, to form this bicyclic compound. Now, as you know what you need to do, you have to remove the carbonyl group and do a hydroboration. So, both are done in one part. Okay. One, when you treat with borane THF, you know borane THF is known to convert lactam to corresponding amine okay. and also if you have a double bond that will undergo hydroboration. So, both reactions are done in one part to get this. Now, just removal of the acetonide gives swine sonide. Okay. So, these three synthesis if you look at all the three synthesis started with chiral starting material. Okay two started with erythros, the third one started with erythros, the second one started with erythrolactone and the first one started with d -manose. Here uh, Cha reported the total synthesis of sinusonin in 6 steps and with an overall yield of 21 percent. Okay. The fourth synthesis uh, was reported by Zhao and here the key reactions are sharpless asymmetric dihydroxylation and also the kinetic resolution. Okay. So, kinetic resolution of furfural imine. Okay. So, we know if you have a furfural, furfural alcohol then one can do sharp plus kinetic resolution. So, here instead of alcohol it was done on NHTS. 
ok. Let us see how they have done. So, from retrosynthetic point of view uh, this is the first disconnection ok, this is the first disconnection to get uh, the corresponding triol and the triol can be obtained from this allylic alcohol by Sharpless asymmetric dihydroxylation and this in principle can be obtained from the 6 membered lactam and this 6 membered lactam is obtained from the corresponding purpuryl amine ok, the tosylated amine and this is obtained from simple purpural. So, this total synthesis started from purpural and then you convert that into corresponding amine by treating with paratolivine sulfonamide ok, it is a skiff base. Then you add the lithium derivative derived from propargyl alcohol, protected propargyl alcohol. The mom protected propargyl alcohol if you treat with butyl lithium you get this lithium species that adds to the semine and you get this compound. Now you have a, you have a triple bond the triple bond can be reduced to get a cis double bond and this was done with a mixture of nickel acetate and sodium borohydride to get the cis double bond and here comes the key reaction that is kinetic resolution. So, if you use diisopropyl tartrate, titanium tetraisopropoxide and tertiary butyl hydroperoxide, so which is normally used for sharpless asymmetric epoxidation and kinetic resolution ok. Of course, they have to use uh, molecular sieves and calcium hydride. So, all these were used for the kinetic resolution. So, it not only resolves, but also it undergoes Achmatovic rearrangement ok. The Achmatovic rearrangement product is the one which he further carried out for the synthesis of swine saline. So, this is the simple kinetic resolution and this rearranged product is the one which he proceeded further for the total synthesis of swine saline. So, now once you have this compound the next step is convert this OH into OAT ok. You treat with triethyl orthoformate and Lewis acid like BF3 ethylate in the presence of molecular sieves. So, the OH that is aminol is converted into corresponding ether ok. Once you have this ether then sodium borohydride methanol. So, sodium borohydride methanol not only can reduce the ketone, but also can reduce the double bond. If you take excess sodium borohydride methanol, it can do both. So, that is what happened. So, you get the alcohol. Now, the alcohol was protected as benzyl ether by treating with sodium hydride and benzyl bromide. The next step is the removal of the OAT group. Okay, so, if you treat with formic acid, so it forms the corresponding imenium and that imenium is reduced with sodium borohydride to form the 6 numbered uh, tosyl n tosyl um, piperidine ring. Okay. You have the cis double bond, so sharp plus asymmetric digitoxylation will give uh, the syndiol and that is a major product. Of course, you also got little bit of uh, beta diol and he took this beta diol and then treated with paratolivine sulfonic acid in solvents like tertiary butanol to remove the mom group. So, basically he got the 3 hydroxyl groups now. So, now what needs to be done? You have to remove this tosyl group and cyclize at this carbon to introduce the 5 member ring. So, the tosyl group ok, how do you remove n tosyl? There are many methods he used sodium and naphthalenide. So, that cleave the n tosyl to corresponding NH. Now, this on treatment with triphenyl phosphine and CCL4. So, the triphenyl phosphine and CCL4 is a good reagent for converting OH to corresponding chloride ok. So, and it also is a good reagent for sometimes doing Mitsunobu like reaction ok. So, here what happens? this is converted into Cl and the lone pair on hydrogen immediately attacks and it forms a corresponding 5 membered ring. So, now only one thing is left that is removal of the benzyl group. So, removal of the benzyl group 
can be easily done but however what he did he protected this dial as the corresponding astronaut. So why he did that was this compound was already converted into swine cyanin in two steps. So he wanted to compare the spectral data of this compound with already reported that is why the compound which he made which is a diol and he converted that into astronite by treating with dimethoxy acetone. So thus he completed a formal total synthesis of swine cyanine and not starting from chiral starting material. So what he has done is he has used a kinetic dynamic resolution of furfural amine okay, followed by Sharpless asymmetric dihydroxylation as key reaction. The whole synthetic sequence took about 15 steps, nevertheless, so it was an interesting total synthesis where kinetic resolution was used as the key step. Okay. So, with this, I uh, will stop here and then we will continue our discussion on total synthesis of some more alkaloids in the next lecture. Thank you.